in it. It looks like, I'm guessing, it's a seca maybe. And I'm just going to go around a bit and we'll have a look. Looks like one of Karula's youngsters. Beautiful. Well, guys, I can promise you give Andre as of five minutes before we went live. But uh, he's going up towards the right, Andre. Got it? Go more right? Yeah, awesome. There we go. Definitely one of the youngsters. Looks like Saseka from the behavior. Let's move a little bit again. You have to chuckle sometimes. And, uh, the beauty of being out in wild places like this, you can drive along and suddenly, voila, like this, you've got a leopard to look at. And it's going to come up in this opening here to our left. Let's see if they're behind the branches. Perfect. A challenging terrain here, but we're gonna try and get. I want to get one close, good look still. Ah, now it's opening up a bit. Andre, if I'm asking, is there a little bit of nerves suddenly? You've got to focus a bit. <laughs> focus, that's exactly the point. I'll just stay wide for now. Wide it out, and then when we get in, look, we're on, we're on spotting duty. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is gonna be beautiful. Right behind the log. Got her, huh? Let's get our spot here. Got it. Just go all the way in. Perfect. Look at that tail tip. Stunning. Guys, I want to say welcome again on this little bit of a surprise drive and emphasis on surprise here. And also again, welcome guys. I'm Ben Hendricks. Awesome to have you here. Look at that beautiful cat. Behind the car here, let me just help it. <laughs> Ball here. Uh, all this excitement, I might have to have a look again later and see if we can get a proper ID. A little bit nervous there. Maybe East in Ghana, I didn't have time to now look at it properly. It's just been quite an overwhelming surprise. That walking into the thick stuff there. And like I said, it was purely an experimental experience. We had a fantastic, beautiful view of that uh, little leopard just now. Walked away, lots of flies out here. And she's walking in some thick, thick stuff. So. A little surprise and uh, awesome, really has been a surprise. I'm sure you guys enjoyed it. You guys enjoyed it. And uh, now, the next step, just before we get overwhelmed by this leopard, which is quite easy, we are going to drive it'll be half an hour or so at least, maybe a bit longer, it depends on what we find on the way. We're not going to be live during that time, we're going to just head over towards the other part of Juma. And then, when we get to three and a half pan, we're going to see if we do get signal, we're going to do a link and chat to you a little bit from there. If we don't, just came out and see if it worked. And because it's winter now, and because the terrain is so open. Obviously, the fact that I'm talking to you and you can hear us is uh, telling us that it is working. So we'll see. I'll talk with Graham a little bit more. I'm sure there's going to be lots of discussion over it, and we'll see what happens. So no promises, but at least just a little bit of an interesting experiment. Um, yeah, that's basically it. We're just going to take a little drive around, just show you the pan for a few minutes, and then uh, I think if all goes well, tomorrow hopefully we might do something similar again, but we'll just explore a little bit further, see how well it works, this part of Juma. Basically, we close the bush lodge, so it's much further towards the... Uh, sort of east, slightly southeast, but essentially straight east from Western Gari, where uh, Wild Earth Camp is. Let me just show you the pan, and um, then we're going to start heading back to camp as well for the afternoon drive. So I'm just going to take a very nice and slow, sort of scenic panning drive, if you want. 
Pan in tin. That beautiful Murilla tree that you can see there, I was telling Andre and Hendrik when we pulled in here, pulled, that I've many, many times seen leopard up there, big my leopards when they come through here. It's one of the places they like to sort of survey the area from, sit up there and, there and look around. Beautiful place, get around here quite often as well. As we arrived here, saw lots of elephant tracks. It's been certainly a whole bunch of the last couple of days and weeks. And it just out of interest sake, that uh, primate like shape you can see on the other side of the water in the distance, that's Andre, very close friend of mine. He was behind the camera earlier with the leopard. And it was quite a surprise as well. We weren't expecting to have to follow and form one of the most beautiful and, and magical creatures out here. We thought it was just going to be a quick hello. So uh, it's quite an experience. And this is Trinidad Pan. I like to think we, uh, we might see little bits of this place every now and again over the next while. Just put in a little bit more. Look at that. Yeah, essentially just a very quick hello. And uh, we're going to keep it short. Experiment and uh, let's see tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll maybe come out here this way again. For myself, Peter, from Hendrik, I'll be behind the camera and Andre Kras. And much has been a special experience for us as well, from a friend's point of view, and also, of course, having you out here with us on the vehicle. This afternoon, about an hour and a half from now, a little bit more, 4 o'clock Central African time, game drive time. Let's go see what we can find. Bye bye.